Most people grew up with a happy little show called Pingu. Pingu was a show that had a clay penguin named Pingu, and it showed his adventures. The character spoke some sort of penguin language. The original show ran from 1986 to 2000. There apparently was an unreleased episode that was released a year later. Now this is where it starts to become interesting. When I was around 5 or 6, I saw the beginning of a Pingu episode called Pingu's Punishment on TV. I only saw a bit of it, but what I can remember was Pingu was very angry and his mother began smashing plates. I also remember the episode was about Pingu playing outside when he was supposed to be doing his chores. My mother came in at with the plate smashing part and shut off the TV and told me that dinner was ready. After dinner, I was looking up at the episode list on Wikipedia to find out that there was no episode called Pingu's Punishment was released. I thought this was an adventure to myself, so I contacted Trick Film Studio, the company that made Pingu. I asked them to complete a production guide of Pingu and they sent me via email. I looked at it compared to the Wikipedia's list and I noticed something was wrong with the finale series. Pingu helps his grandfather, which was the 23rd episode of series 4, was missing. At the bottom of the list was an episode titled called Pingu Ending. I and asked for the hypnosis, but they refused to give me one, stating it was personal information. I then googled Pingu Ending Unreleased and, and then Pingu's Punishment. I found something. It was on Rapid Share, and there was a file that was named Pingu's Punishment Unreleased Episode .zip, and I downloaded it. I went to my downloads and found it in the folder. It contained two files. One was a notepad file, and the other was fear.txt. I opened it and it read, This is an unreleased episode of Pingu's Goo, dated back in April 11, 2000. They originally planned to end the series, and this was actually released in some countries. Watch it at your own risk. I began to feel a little suspicious and my heart pounded, but my curiosity overtook me. I opened the second .avi file. The first part of the same episode was when I saw as a kid. However, something felt off. The theme song was distorted, and instead of Pingu's usual newt newt, there was the backwards audio. I recorded it with sound recorder, and it played. You can't survive this like beyond death. I found it very creepy, but continued with the video. I got to the part where Pingu's mother was smashing plates. Suddenly it cut to black. A blood-curdling scream was heard, and it faded back to the kitchen. Pingu's mother was sitting on the stool crying. It only sounded real. She began crying, but it started to sound like laughing. Suddenly, it then cut to Pinga. Pinga was lying on the floor, and her head was ripped off. I paused it there, and I felt sick. But what made me more sick was that it wasn't clay blood. Either it was food coloring, or I didn't know what it was. I continued it. Pinga's mother kept crying. Suddenly, it cut to a black and white video about two scientists going to a slaughterhouse. It showed a bunch of cows getting slaughtered. Suddenly, it showed a penguin being stunned and then being hanged upside down. The crushers crushed the penguin into pieces. It began showing pictures of dead penguins. It cuts back to Pingu's mother crying. A trampoline was in the kitchen. There was also a fan. She jumped to the fan and blood splattered everywhere. The body of Pingu's mother fell down. It showed the pictures of the dead bodies of Pingu, Robbie, and the other characters. An old music box playing Hush Little Baby faintly played. I paused to go to the bathroom to vomit. I felt really nauseous and sick after witnessing what I just watched. I continued the video. A distorted voice, something played backwards. I recorded it and played in reverse. It said, Your life will be pitch black within a few seconds. You must be smart enough to play this backwards because you're stupid enough to believe me. My chest pounded. The credits were in the times of New Roman. The, the background slowly continued to show disturbing images. It closed with the background of a mask with red eyes. The mask suddenly said in a distorted tone, Darkness begins now. Suddenly my computer froze and the lights flickered and the power went out. The power came back on within a few seconds later. I was now shaking and I wanted to find the source of the film. I got in contact with Carlos Bomini the voice act of all the characters. I pretended that it was an interview and, and talked about Pingu. I finally mentioned Pingu's punishment. 
He stopped and asked where I had heard of that before. I explained everything to him, and then he told me the story. During the fourth season of Pingu, there was a writer and animator called Ted Goldman. Ted was a quiet man who usually didn't wasn't that as sociable. Sometime during the middle of the season, Ted's mother had been trying to reach something on the upper shelf, and the ceiling fan was still on. She got decapitated. Ted was immediately hurt by this and began submitting horrid ideas, such as Pingu killing all the characters, even asked Bomi to do a voice of Pingu dying. Goldman found out that Pingu was closing production at the end of the season. Ted passed it off as the episode of the series finale. Right after they watched the episode, they discovered Ted had been charged with animal cruelty, murder, etc. Ted left a parent note claiming that he was going to live in Antarctica. However, no records show that he was ever there and that he was last spotted in Santa Barbara, California, purchasing a gun. They never found him. I was left shocked. Then when I fought, it occurred to me that the entire episode played backwards. Starting from the part where the distorted voice began, I heard a scream, a shout, and an eerie voice that sounded something that still haunts me to this day. The only way out of, that, of this hell is death. And that, my pretties, was Pingu's Punishment. A Pingu Lost episode, um, creepypasta. My final thoughts on this story. Alright, um, I do remember so many narrators narrated this pasta. I do remember, um, Andal narrated this one back. I think it was 2017 or 2018 when he narrated the this story. I honestly cannot remember. But I do have to say this story somewhat did have, you know, could have been something good. But unfortunately, this story unfortunately just went downhill. And I will be getting to where why it went downhill. It was a really terrible creepypasta. So, first of all, the episode starts off, you know, the person was looking up on the Wikipedia to find Pingu's punishment. But the, apparently this turns out to be no episode of it. And when the person contacted, you know, Trick Film Studio... The company had made Pingu to ask about it, but unfortunately, they couldn't give a synopsis of what it is, stating it was personal information. Okay, um, there is a problem with that. Like, there is no real explanation as to why. Like, maybe the person just didn't want to traumatize the viewer of Pingu, or they honestly just, you know, didn't want to reveal any secrets. I mean, there could have been something. That led up to be more describing about it. But at this point, it just didn't work. Uh, that's just what it was with that story. This just didn't really work. Oh, man. I mean, that's literally all I'm trying to say. But at the same time, I still got more shit to say about this story. Another thing led to another is the person watches which is the Pingu episode on Rapid Share. I mean, how was that on Rapid Share? I mean, maybe somebody else managed to get those episodes and upload on there. There's literally no explanation on that, so it just doesn't really make a lot of sense. But like I said, there's a lot of weird stuff on the internet you can really find, so I'm not too surprised. Another thing I really have to say about it is the fact that, you know, the person watches the AAVI file and there was like, um, sound, pretty much newt newt backwards audio. I mean, well, the fact is you can't survive this beyond death. I honestly just don't understand why that was included in the story. It just literally just doesn't work with this story that's just literally what i'm trying to say is that it just literally did not work with the story i mean i know some pastas do it but at the same time they do it far too often if that makes total sense 
And then we get to, you know, Pingu's mother smashing plates. And then it cuts to pretty much, um, um, Pinga, you know, ends up having her red heart ripped off. I mean, there's literally no explanation for why that happened. So that honestly just, there's no reason for Pinga to die. Honestly, there was no real reason. There's no explanation as to why she died. It just literally just did not work. And then it, then pretty much um, it cuts to a, a trampoline was in the kitchen with Pingo's mother dying like that. Okay, that literally just didn't work. And the person getting sick after that, like, okay, why would you get sick after that? It's just a cartoon. It's not real life. So why would you get sick by that? That, that literally doesn't make any sense. And then the distorted voice comes up and says, your life will be pitch black within seconds. And then there is a um, background with the mask guys. Like, oh my god, this looks like it's a demon cliche. Oh my god. That just did not work with the story. It literally just didn't work. That literally, I don't even know, but this story just doesn't seem to be working. You know, that honestly... That literally just doesn't really work. That's literally what I'm trying to say. It's just is it, it didn't work. And then we go to, you know, there's a guy named Ed Goldman. He was charged with animal cruelty, murder, etc. Um, and then he wanted to go live in Antarctica. And then he turns out to be dead. Like, okay then. That's, I have no comment on that whatsoever, so there's that. And then it ends up pretty much a person was left in shock by the entire episode, and then, of course, or is, there's an eerie voice that says something, saying, the only way out of this hell is death. Like, I know it's the S word, but I'm not saying it, but you guys should know what I mean by the S word. Another word for a person taking their own life. I'm not going to say it. I mean, that is just like the literal cliche thing you could ever add it in a story. And that is something that just did not add with this episode. <sighs> Literally, this episode just didn't really work. I really just didn't really see any logical explanation for this story. I don't see how this would be this be the case. I literally just didn't find any enjoyable ability with this. This story was just cliched. It just... It was just really, really, really cliched. That's literally one of my thing, One of the things I have to say. It was just cliched. It didn't work out. It was just... It's just a cliche mess. Now... For what I could do, if I were the author of this story, I would, you know, make a complete rewrite, make it believable to make sure it was exactly, you know, believable, but not cliched messed. This story was just cliched. That's literally one of the things I can definitely say about this pasta, is that it's just cliched. Okay, I guess that's pretty much all I have to really say. Uh, the grammar was alright. It wasn't perfect, but it was alright. And the same with, um, the sentence structure and that, that they were fine too, but that's literally all I can really say. This story could have had somewhat of a decent plot line, but unfortunately that didn't work. And this story just ended up going downhill. It just sucked. That's literally what I'm trying to get at. It just literally sucked. Okay, I guess that's pretty much all I have to really say. I've been rambling for quite a while. Like I'm always going to continue to say, this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to disagree with me, that's perfectly fine too. We're all entitled to our own opinions in regards to these stories. This is just simply my own personal thoughts. I'm going to give this story a... what? How should I put this? Um, I'm going to give this story a um, 1 out of 10. Mainly because 
The concept could have been decent. This could have been a decent story. If only it wasn't cliched. It honestly was just a cliched mess. That literally just, you know, it was just cliched. Um, there were a lot of things wrong with it. But the only thing I can have that I really enjoy is, you know, the grammar was alright. And the sentence structure was alright. That's just literally all I can really say. The rest of the story was just cliched. It just didn't work. I just don't really understand why this story, you know, got popular the way it did. But however, I will say, I do remember narrators reading this and they actually, some of them actually said it sucked and that. So that's literally all I have to really say. But this story could have been better. It could have even be decent, but unfortunately that's not the case. Well, like I'm always going to continue to say, this is just simply my own personal opinion. And if you happen to disagree with me, that's fine too. I know I already said it before, but I want to say it again. This is only my own personal opinion. So, anyways, what did you guys personally think of this creepypasta? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what you have done personally helped make this story a lot better. Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you're new to my channel, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Ring the bell for notifications 20 uploads. That way, you guys will not miss an upload. As always, if you happen to, you know, want to follow me on Twitter, link to my Twitter account will be in the About page section. So you guys can go follow me on Twitter. Also, if you're interested in following me on DeviantArt, link to my DeviantArt will be in the About page section. So that way you guys can go follow me on there. Also, be sure to subscribe to my backup channel known as um, Miss Dark Shigo. Link to that will also be in the About page section. So you guys can go check it out and follow me on there. As always, that's pretty much all I have to really say. But if I'm missing something, please let me know what it is in the comments below. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys all in the next video. Peace out and like always, roll the outro because I'm out. What's up, my pretties? It's the Lion Queen here. I want to appreciate you all for tuning into this video. And I do appreciate you guys supporting my video by giving this video likes and stuff. If you really enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're new, ring the bell for notifications to when I upload so that way you guys will get updated for whenever I upload. If you want to follow me on Twitter or DeviantArt, feel free to leave to leave a follow on those if you are interested in following me on those socials. If you want to support my backup channel known as Miss Dark Shigo, feel free to subscribe to it as a link to that will also be in the about page section. And with that being said and that being the case, thank you so much for watching my pretties and as always, please stay pretty.